I really want the world you see, for it has disappointed you since time began. The homes you built have never sheltered you. The roads you made have led you nowhere. No city that you built has withstood the crumbling assault of time. Nothing you made but has the mark of death upon it. Hold it not dear, for it is old and tired and ready to return to dust even as you made it. This aching world has not the power to touch the living world at all. You could not give it that, and so although you turn in sadness from it, you cannot find in it the road that leads away from it into another world. Right. So, uh, you know, this, we've talked about this before, Larry. It's uh, no matter what this world, this false world, appears to have given you or you've taken from it, whether you feel you're a poor martyr victim or you think you're on top of the world and you, you're running the world, you know, you're rich and you've got all these things. This thing is failing you, right? Because it's so little, and so and so not deserving of the Son of God. It's right. a, it's a total disaster. Right. And the ego, whatever it does give you, only gives it to you for a time so that he can take it away. And even if you're at the top of your game in your in this so-called life, you know you may not appear to have lost anything, but then it loses you. Right. You know, death is always part of this thing. And so it, this is a world of scarcity and a world of loss. I don't care what it appears to be or where you fit in this spectrum of, of variation, but it's a world of loss. See, you have to go back. It always says that you're going to return to the source. And if we go back and look at, the, at this thought, this tiny mad idea, mm-hmm. we, at that point, made ourselves a victim because God wouldn't give us the specialness we thought we deserved. Right. So this thing is established on being a victim. And victims victimize. And you have to realize that this is your world. Each separate self has their world. Mm-hmm. And they write their script. Right. And in that script, you will both be victim and you will be victimizer. And you incorporate all of these other symbols to serve you in that purpose mm-hmm. so that it always fails. Right. Yeah, we've talked before about the night dreams. If you'll really look at your night dreams, look, watch how many of them, if not all of them, are where you have a desire to get something and ultimately you do not get it because something goes wrong or you wake up or you right. fail, you know, fail in the dream or the dream shifts to another dream. You're never satisfied. You never get what your desire is because this world was never, this false world is a world that is never desired, is never, it was never made to give you desire and cannot give you desire. One of the things you'll hear over and over and over in our sessions is don't oppose yourself. Mm -hmm. All of this is about opposing yourself so that you can make somebody else the uh, the cause of your... Victim. They're guilty, right? right. They're the, you're the victim, right? And they're the victimizer. So therefore, you feel justified in attacking, right? The course says that attack comes from a thought of guilt. Mm-hmm. The guiltless mind can't suffer. So once you recognize you're never guilty, you've never been guilty, right? You will stop your suffering. You'll stop right. attacking yourself, right? And and this idea of of everybody has their own world. This is my world. You know, they, we think there's about 7 billion people on Earth right now, or, or appear to be. Well, there's 7 billion different worlds, because each of each of them sees this thing the way they Absolutely. elected to see it. They sent out their messengers to send them back the message that they want to hear. One thought. Right. But all of this that appears to be so different. Right. One thought of separation. Right. And see, the, the, the unreal world cannot be shared, right. but the real world... Is nothing but shared. Is is shared. It's a shared world. So their joining is not at the level of the mind. You can never join as hard as you try in the unreal world. You cannot join, but you 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 are joined in the mind because the real world is in the mind. Right. And it hasn't been projected. All right. uh, 